Hi there, I'm Lucas and today I'll present challenges in vessel behavior and anomaly detection from classical machine learning to deep learning. So I'll begin uh, introducing our work and related work, then I'll state objective and contributions of our work, and afterwards I will talk about research challenges and present the conclusions of our work. So. Maritime transportation represents 90% of all international trade volume. This means a high number of vessels sail the ocean every day. And uh, with the expansion of maritime activities, the automatic identification system was developed for uh, vessel tracking. And with uh, this vessel tracking mechanism, uh, maritime monitoring systems became feasible. And these systems are important for uh, preventing vessel accidents, detecting illegal activities, and also to protect the marine fauna and flora. However, with this high number of vessels, a high volume of data is generated constantly, and this makes real-time monitoring very challenging to maritime agents. So they need decision support systems to help them uh, detect anomalies, changes of behavior, and even important events that they should focus on. So here's an overview of an ideal maritime system we foresee in this work. So data from different sources, uh, including AIS of course, are uh, collected, integrated and processed so that a learning algorithm can learn about different vessel behaviors and uh, store them in a database and also present them to the user, uh, which is the maritime agent and the agent can analyze these behaviors and also add uh, knowledge to that in the form of labels, for instance, which are also stored in the database. Although uh, many works have addressed uh, vessel behavior detection, they are all ad hoc approaches. Uh, most of them don't really learn from the data and they only tackle uh, specific uh, issues in this uh, whole setting. So we uh, group related works in two major groups, which are event detection and anomaly detection. While event detection cares about uh, well-defined behaviors <coughs> with a semantic meaning, for example, fishing activity, vessel speeding near the coast, anomaly detection works. Uh, on the other hand, they care about, care, care about uh, detecting anomalies in the data distribution mostly. So they don't have a semantic meaning to the anomalies. Um, so event detection works, they are mostly based in, on queries and rules, which are defined by a uh, human, so they are supervised. And only two works have explored other sources of data for improving event detection. Anomaly detection, on the other hand, are mostly learning algorithms, so they require pre-training, but they have not explored other sources of data, and uh, they lack interpretability, and uh, they don't uh, detect behaviors per se. They only detect anomalies that have no semantic meaning, so we are not really interested in those. So, uh, because of these limitations, uh, in this work we present research gaps and challenges in machine learning for detecting different types of vessel behavior, considering all these constraints imposed by real-time monitoring systems. And our, co our contributions here are a short survey of the state of the art and an extensive discussion on major topics with opportunities for improvement. So, we describe research challenges with respect to three tasks and three data issues. So uh, we would like to detect vessel behaviors and their recurrence. So if a behavior happened multiple times and when it happened. And also provide means for interpreting detected behaviors so that maritime agents can take the appropriate actions. And on the data side, as I said, we have a lot of data but uh, most of these data don't have labels. Often we don't have knowledge of the behaviors or labels present in the data and because we have uh, different sources of data we can have highly dimensional data points 
which adds another factor of complexity to the problem. And due to time constraints, we'll only cover uh, key points in uh, challenges, in research challenges. So for behavior detection, a closely related uh, research area is uh, concept drift. So concept drift techniques, they detect changes in the data distribution usually, and uh, but they are limited to univariate data or they lack interpretability and they also uh, only detect points of change so they are not able to uh, correlate different uh, behaviors and so for uh, recurrent behaviors the most similar uh, work to what we would like to achieve is the top list inverse covariance based clustering which is a time series clustering algorithm that uh, uh, clusters the time series into different groups which could be behaviors and they represent these clusters with the Markov random fields and Markov random fields uh, show some insight on the relationship of the variables in the data so they are good for interpretability which is something we would like to achieve here however uh, tick requires the number of behaviors uh, to be known beforehand and also all the data has to be available for training the algorithm. Despite these limitations uh, of both uh, concept drift and tick, we think that these uh, techniques are a good starting point for behavior detection. And another area of research that uh, remain unexplored for behavior detection is deep learning. So uh, no work has used it, and undeniably, computer vision is the field that has experienced the most advances in deep learning. And when we talk about deep learning with computer vision, we think of uh, CNNs. And although we have uh, satellite imagery for uh, vessel behavior detection, they can be very expensive and can also make detecting certain behaviors very difficult or even impossible. However, uh, other works have used uh, CNNs for trajectory classification based on movement features. And uh, these movement features uh, are also available in AAS data, which is essentially trajectory data. So this suggests that CNNs could be a good direction for future works for vessel behavior detection. And for uh, interpreta uh, interpretability of the behaviors, uh, recent uh, works have been proposed for interpreting CNNs. So they could also be uh, used for uh, providing this to maritime agents. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, although we have a lot of data, this data has limitations, which mainly is the lack of labels. So uh, to get around that, uh, one approach would be to use the knowledge of previous works as a ground truth. So we could use the rules and queries that were defined by experts and use that to label our data so that a machine learning, could, a machine learning algorithm could be used. Another approach would be to use transfer learning for learning from a few examples so that we only have to label a few examples uh, so that a machine learning algorithm can effectively learn about vessel behaviors. And uh, lastly, uh, GANs could also be used for synthesizing new behavior data and they haven't been explored. So uh, to conclude, Maritime monitoring has experienced significant progress in the last decade and although uh, there are works to tackle vessel behavior detection, they do not take advantage of machine learning techniques and also we highlight that their methodology inhibit further advances in uh, research in the area. And so we presented several research gaps in the field indicating opportunities for future works and we hope to instigate the development of new algorithms, methods and tools for maritime monitoring. So here are the references and thank you for your attention.